they'll be calling you a radical. So I'm headed over to Chief Cherokee's. There's a little teeny marker. This is where he was murdered and killed. They said it was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. The Shoshone Chief. He was killed right here. I'm in Harrisville, Utah. This is where I live. Right down the Mill Creek, whatever. So I want to explain to some people on the energy bill that's going on. And people say, I don't, look, I don't regurgitate and spin news. When are you guys going to wake up and realize I break stories? So none of you read the bills and pay attention. So here's what's going on. Here's how Congress is banning solar and wind. So let me explain. Through every local legislator at the state house level, they started as the big push over the last 10, 15 years to get some initiative for alternatives, solar and wind. Almost every state passed here we call it amps. So the nuclear industry, like they always do, they smell. That's it right there. They smell. Rats smell cheese. There's a bunch of money. So they got to find a way to steal it because that's what they do. That's what they always do is Fukushima's killing us. And this will be in, ready for Standing Rock. I just got a call from up there. I might head up there. I don't know. God, I'm so nervous. It's 30 below degrees up there. There, so anyway, we did. Yeah, our snow is deep. You think, huh? We finally got some snow. So Stuart was a liar, and I can tell you that right now. September 16th, he was killed. Lauren Fart was a good guy. He spoke, all the, he spoke all the tribe's language, so did my grandpa. They were here. So. I'll do my staking ceremony. But they're coming in Standing Rock. They're coming. So he was killed right here. They didn't want to fight. They didn't want to fight. You know, the fur trappers had been here just slaughtering him. You know, Jedi Smith, Jim Bridger, and you know, the movie's based right here. Our family's developing our land that goes down the Mill Creek. Little soldier, people don't even know where his marker and grave is, I do. It's on our family farm, up there on the river. Some grave robbers on the Weber. They lived here for thousands of years in harmony. The hot pots up here on the corner, they would spend their in the hot pots. So they come up, the Bear River Massacre ceremony will be Sunday. 512 they slaughtered. So Trump wants to go in. <laughs> now think about this. Think about this. Trump names the young son Baron. These were barons. They were robber barons. They came for the fur first and robbed the fur. Then they came, cut, the, cut down the oldest trees on earth on the Great Basin, California. Timber barons. Kennecott, real Tino, right here. The biggest hole, the queen's shiny yellow rocks out of the hole. Gold, silver barons. They just raped the earth. They're robber barons. The robber barons are back. You know, think about the arrogance of Trump naming his child baron. You know, he wants to go in, Standing Rock, for a bunch of something we don't use. So back to the... Back to the energy complex. So the energy complex, so what they've done is they've gone in and we have what we call New Scale. There's 50 different companies have filed for money. So right up here at the Idaho Nuclear Lab, up here, oldest nuclear reactor in the world, first nuclear reactor, you see my videos I do up there, which is right near the Bear River Massacre, which I think is irony. You know, the Navy's predicted all this, by the way. It's written into their creation stories. So, they fraudulently got the money. I'm the one that exposed it was a Ponzi scheme. Just like Blue Castle here, they want to put a new girl, they have to raise the money. It was, a pon it was a Ponzi scheme called Lead Dog. Both the people have pled guilty, SEC investigating, blah, blah, blah. So what they did, what they're doing, this is how they play, and they masquerade. Nobody's paying attention. People in the solar industry, so they've doing it in every house in the country. Now, we fought tooth and nail in Illinois. We fought hard. We thought them had them beat. In New York, $7.6 So here's what they've done. 
it says right on it, the alternative money, people sign up on their bills, and the money's appropriated through the taxpayer for sun and water. It says no nuclear. So they've had to rebrand it, and they had to change the bills. So what they do, they go into the state legislators, and they say, oh, we got new little reactors, which are nothing the same as the big reactor. They're piglet. It's the same waste. It's the same nightmare, which it's the same... And they don't, they don't loot in millions, they loot in billions of dollars. In billions of dollars. So they loot in billions of dollars. And so what they do in every single house, and they're doing it across, because they got it passed in Illinois and it really empowered them. They got it passed in New York, it really empowered them. So what they're doing, they're reworking the bills at the state levels, at the state levels. And they're stealing for what they call 50 little small nuclear reactors, NUSCA. It'll never happen. It's never going to happen. It's just they're getting the money up front. They don't care if it happens. They're just stealing up front from you, for, which is supposed to be for solar and wind. So solar is taking the fill. They won't allow you to sell back in, especially in Utah. You have to hook to the grid. It costs you a giant sum of money to hook to the grid. They know it's not economical. That's how they block it. And it's the coal lobbyists and the nuclear lobbyists because the nuclear industry, through Price Anderson, through the international subsidy, it's they turned on the faucet at the Manhattan Project and they turned off. It's the dirtiest, filthiest fill technology on Earth. You know, Santa Susana, Mayak, Chernobyl, Fukushima. Fukushima is killing the Pacific Ocean. I mean, slaughtering the Pacific Ocean is the greatest ecological collapse in human history. So, in September... Congress, they're insane. As you hate Congress, you ain't got Rob Bishop right here. He's a scumbag. So you hate Congress, you hate Congress, you hate Congress. You, the United States, really, there's no political solution. So is it going to be a bloody revolution? Who drew first blood? You know, these guys didn't want to fight. You know, little so they didn't want to fight. They lived in harmony for 4,000 years. They were communal. You know, they had you know, communal farms, communal, like the early Mormons did. My grandparents did. My grandparents were freaking communal farmers. That's what Utah was. Ranchers. They didn't want to fight. They just kept drawing blood on them. Drawing blood. Uh, uh, Y'all, oh, it was an accident? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It's was murder. That's what they did. They murdered them all. They just slaughtered them. You know, barons. It's all. Just to steal natural resources. So now it's plutonium wars. So what they did in September, they went into the Congress and they wrote a new bill, an energy bill, that just appropriate and godly sums of money for these little nuclear reactors and for the nuclear, say, you know, and they bask and lie, tell you it's the band aid, it's the cover up to switch to solar, and they loot the money from solar and wind. So, what they've done in that bill, and you got to read it, you got to read all the way through it, and state after state, Wyoming's just done it, they've all done it. You get into the detail of language, basically, what it does, it blocks from selling any in the future because you can't now anyway. Like Elon Musk in Nevada, they used to be able to sell back. They blocked the law and changed the law that you cannot sell back. You cannot sell your solar. So I'm telling you, you must pull your plan out of freaking Nevada. I mean, the sun shines here in Utah 300 days a year. In Nevada, 320. It's the greatest place on earth. It's a giant desert. We don't need new technology. We have a grid. The solar all took. California's producing 120% more solar than we. Anyway, I know Tom. I'm on the committees down there all over California. I'm the guy that got Santa Anna shut down. Tom will tell you from Edison, this is the easiest decision ever to make to shut down Santa Anna You know, the corrupt bastards because they didn't want to go to jail. And same with Diablo. They don't use it. They're overproducing. They have nowhere to put their sword. They, they'll tell you straight up, we can't put it because it's blocked for coming in the grid. So what this bill says, and Obama threatened to freaking veto it, but it said that it would block in the future from solar farms, wind farms, from residentials to sell back into the national grid. That's what it says. So it got re-put in through committee yesterday, through, the, through Congress. They got it through. Trump's going to sign it. They already said he would. So, if it goes through, you know, because there's no political solution. I mean, I show up this thing, people don't even show up. I mean, it's up to us grassroots activists. I'm in this Utah State House battling on my own, and I don't battle on my own. Illinois, Gail's up there and her group fighting. I mean, it's, they have 15 lobbyists for, I mean, in Utah, they have 50 lobbyists, for, 100 lobbyists against me. You know, New Scale Reyes is the brother of that. I mean, it's so corrupt. So, I'll be heading up there. Guys, my camera even going? Yeah, it's still going. So, you know, they lied about the Bear River Massacre. They lied, they lied, they lied, they lied, they lied. They killed 512. While they were asleep, just slaughtered them. Connor, you know, and came right up here. He killed my great-great-grandpa, Liam, right over there at Manaway, right in front of Abe, his father, Abraham Hunsaker, the first. He was murdered right in front, shot him right in the head, you know. Little soldiers right down. You follow this creek all the way down. It goes to the Weber River. That's where we live right there. And, you know, it's 
where they lived. That's where I live. Freaking sad commentary. So all you people that say to me, oh, you know, they're not blocking so Yes, they are. You're so posh and groom unless CNN's glaring it. Fox News is glaring. Alternative Alex Jones is screaming his head off on it, or somebody's screaming their head off it. You don't believe it. You know, I will quote May Brussels, Carmel Valley. I was in, I was in May Brussels' house just recently, right where she lived. Seen a really big, beautiful buck in Carmel Valley up there. I was with Carmel Chris. He says, documenting the dead tide pools at Monterey. They're all dead. If you think the czars, or May Brussels, 1980, if the czars had network television, the czars would still be in power. Kevin Blanche, 2016. The czars have network television. They're back in power. If you don't think Putin is not a czar, you're a fool. Putin graph. If you don't think Trump thinks he's going to be a czar, want to be a czar, you're a fool. And you think about him naming the young child Baron. I mean, it's so in your face. Now, I mean, I appreciate Trump doing what he did on TPP. And one thing about Trump, he, he means what he says. He's not like Obama. Obama the lying rat. I mean, the worst kind, huh? You know, he just lied and betrayed us all. He betrayed us at every angle. You know, Obama for prison? Oh, yeah, Gina McCarthy on the cover-up of Fukushima. You know, is Trump going to say it? So that's what they're up to. And they've got it. They got empowered because they got it through Illinois. They got it through New York. You know, they're trying. Well, they're pulling it off here in Utah. You know, in Wyoming. You know, all of them. You know, these politicians, these Senate and congressmen are nothing but corporate for sale whores. We have no representative government. You know, we're no different right now than the Shoshone were there, or the Shasta, or the, you know, Shumash, or the Navajo, or the Utes, or the Goshutes, and none of them. We're the same now. They don't care about us, we're expendable. Just kill us. Our representatives, our congressmen, they hate us. They physically hate us. We have a government that doesn't even for the people, that's physically against the people. They physically attack their very own people. We hate Congress, we hate Congress, we elect all of Congress. You know, they've dummied down the population, the ignorant through, you know, thus post-ignorance. So, there is no political solution. They're coming at Standing Rock. They're coming. You know, I'm nervous about it, big time nervous, because Trump, this, I mean, Obama just passive aggressive kicked the can and let him freaking, you know, abuse them to no end. He's going to go in there with a yeah, militaryism. Milita Everybody just bows to this militaryism. You know, fear porn, fear porn, boogeyman, but I mean, seven billion people, they can find something around every do, and they do it, and they just grandstand, and they just play it. And this country's gone in the last 16 years. The Bush, Obama, you know, the militaryism has gone nuts. You know, fear, fear, fear. So we're no different than these guys. They're going to shoot us through the head and say we're trying to, you know, it was a mistake. We thought somebody was stealing our corn out of our cornfield. You know, he, Stuart used to say this, right up here, Jim Bridger, right up here, that name's Monument, where he's carved in, where he told Brigham Young, I'll give you $1,000 for the first bushel of corn you can grow here. You can't stop here because he was sick. He was behind the Donner Party, you know, and he was sick. They couldn't make it. Hastings had lied to him. They're stuck in the mud and they stopped right here. My parents, my great, great, my very great, great parents, in fact, my the other side of the bloodlines were here long before the Mormons were. So he claims, after he'd smoked the peace pipe, right here with Lauren Farr, that all I just want was growing this corn just to prove a point, and somebody was running through, so I shot him. <laughs> Terry was a big guy up on his horse. Corn was probably about that tall. It was sweet corn. Shot him in his head. Huh. So we just lay back passively. We're supposed to not do anything. You know, there is no political solution. Bloody revolution? Just know this, I never started it. You know, I'm a peace activist. I believe in peace. I'm intense. I'm a radical. But how much blood they got to draw on us? How much? They poison our water, our air. And these come by yaws are just boogie mad boogie. They're afraid of some made up stuff. Went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. Went off to Iraq to get Dick Cheney, friends, a big old sack. Went off to Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong. They're still there. He's all gone. How nice is they invented ISIS? You know, you're all boogie mad boogie mad. Put up. George Wallen. George Wallen himself. Right over there. Right there in the house. Right around the corner. I used to drive his car around. <laughs> My dad, the atomic marine, murdered in the Nevada test site. His own people. His own people killed him. It's like his own people killed him. Yeah, it wasn't his own people. They were European. Robber barons. So the barons are back. You know, we don't need any more pipelines. This is all stealing and freaking billionaires protecting billionaires. The pyramid, the Austrian Hungarian Empire, stronger it's ever been. The robber barons are back. Did they ever leave? You know, so... I'm going to warn the Trump administration right here, right now. You keep the cover up of Fukushima going. I mean, 
You draw blood out there. You draw blood out of Standing Rock. And, you know, if he cast the first stone, you know, we're not about to draw blood first. But what are we supposed to do? Just let you kill our children? Just let you kill our grandchildren? Just like Obama did? You know, you look up the limits they raised on Fukushima. You look them up. You look up how far Obama raised the legal limits on your drinking water. I mean, right here. These systems, everybody here is wound up about Flint, Michigan. Every one of these water systems is poisoning Utah. Corrupt politicians from A to Z. No accountability. You don't care about the water you drink. You don't care about the air you breathe. You don't care. Oh, I care. You know, everybody says, oh, I can live abstractly. But your dogma and your ignorance is sucking me in and my family and my grandchildren and my people. You know, hmm. Where do we draw the line? I mean, at what point? At what point? You know, because there is no political solution. I mean, I've given up. I've tried everything politically. I'm in those houses fighting. I was all day. I mean, I'm so disappointed. People that are inside the solar industry, they're just grandstanders. Oh, I, I'm in the solar. They're just sitting back and, you know, they're just opportunists. That's all they are. There's, I mean, the grassroots activists is so few and far between. But there's a few of us, this poster in the army. We're trying. I've been in, you know, all my politicians face about Fukushima over and over and over and over to nausea. You know, look it up. It's on YouTube. So... You know, it'll be a hallowed ceremony on Sunday. It always is. It'll probably be about 20, 30 below where I'm headed on Monday or Sunday for the anniversary. Just like it was when they slaughtered them while they were asleep. Just come in and think about that. I want you to really think about it. the same people that cut down the sequoias did it. The exact identical people, Connor and Stanford and his railroad freaking mass murdered European merry men. The exact same people. Starved to death the Shasta, poisoned them. Had scalps on these guys' head. A man, $100. A woman, 50 A child, 25 Think about that. In 1960, 70 $80. You do the math. And these guys, I mean, first they just robbed the fur. Then the timber. You know, then the freaking gold. Then the silver. You know, then the uranium. They're running out. Pipelines? For who? For who? For who? <laughs> solar took the field a long time ago. Natives live fine with solar. That's what they used in the thermal. They used the hot pots right up here. Huh. But we're about not to freaking give them a penny. So that's what they're up to. You know, you could say, oh, I didn't see it. I can't find it anywhere. The Congress passed a bill. They're going to block. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it house by house, state by state. Not going to happen. Happened in a lot of states. Happening. Trump's going to sign it. <laughs> all activists, all hands on deck. You know who you are. Our post ignorance army. There is no political solution. Stay tuned. Long live Chief Turkey. <laughs>